Hello everyone. Welcome to Lisa's Painting Parties. I'm Lisa and here we are on our weekly painting adventure. So this week we'll be painting our version of this beautiful photograph, uh, the moon. Uh, so this one is a photograph by Michael Lyons Photography, so you can check out his website. I have the link in the um, description um, and uh, check out some of his other work. So we'll be painting um, from this reference photo, getting some weird glary effects happening. I did post this picture um, up on a post yesterday uh, under the event and also on the main page to show what the winner was. So I would suggest perhaps just grabbing that as a shot so you have it available as your own reference since um it might be a little bit i feel like yes yeah, since it's so dark it's like the glare reflects even more <laughs> i will have the camera um more angled on my canvas and on the picture um but uh yeah it is beautiful ashley i agree it's gorgeous yeah i'm so excited to put our spit on it um it's just so striking and it's very simple when you look at the colors involved so when you look at just if you're trying to replicate it right we have a really intense bright beautiful blue background um and it's like a blurry cloud coloring in the background the moon is what really brightly stands out um but then you have a lot of like shadow to give the impression of like foliage or like this kind of it's like a pine tree maybe i don't know what trees are called um but it has that kind of impression around it to really frame and to really center yourself on there so there's a lot of simplicity in this beauty and that's going to be the challenge of trying to capture this um and uh when we're painting the goal isn't to make it exactly like the photo if you want it to be exactly like the photo i suggest you go and purchase a print of it and then have that up the whole thing about having um, something that we can reference is to give us inspiration and for us to move from that, right? So um, I like to kind of pull from it. I still want it to feel very painterly. So my thoughts on the background um, is that I want to really see some of the brush stroke. I want to see the different variation when we get in there and I'll talk you through how I'm going to approach it. So if you like how the vibe I'm creating, feel free to, to jump in and do that with me. Um, if you want to try your own thing, feel free as well. This is like total group. Let's have fun space with us. For anyone who hasn't joined uh, before, um, the way uh, the paint parties work is every Saturday at noon, I put up three images on the site and everyone votes for their favorite of the three. The one with the most votes by the following Tuesday will be declared the winner. And that's the one that we paint all together live on the Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is the first time that I'll be painting this as well. So I'm walking you through how I approach it. And the reason why I do this is I want art to be very accessible. So if you find any image that you love, if you take a picture, I want you to feel empowered to make it your own and to have fun and create. I also use supplies that are cheap and easily accessible um, so that you can kind of use whatever you want. If you have fancier stuff, go for it. My paint is acrylic paint. I get it from the Dollarama and it's lasted quite a bit. <laughs> I haven't had to replenish yet too much. Um, but I always suggest if you have the basic colors, um, yellow, blue, and red, and then if you have white and you have black, then you can create anything you like. That being said, um, it's good to have some variation. So when we get things from a dollar store, um, for example, this is a blue I really like. It's called Copenhagen blue. It's more of like a, a darker, so it'll be really nice for some of these values. But sometimes when there's a blue that's a lot brighter, I do actually like to dip into the premixed tropical blue that I have purchased. Um, we can also create it by mixing the colors, but um, it can be easier and it's quite cheap just to get the other one. So that's why I do that. And I also have some other premixed colors as well that you can dip into if you want. With this picture in particular, um, we're clearly going to be staying with blue, black, and white. Uh, those are the three main that are going to be coming out. We might use, if you want to capture this kind of orangey, fiery portion of the sky here, um, we might use some yellow and some red to play with, optionally but that might be kind of fun to do too. But the main colors we're going to be touching is uh, the black, the white, and the blue. Okay. Um, so those are the paints that I use. I have, um, I use a canvas board. This is an 11 by 14, but again, you can use whatever canvas you so desire. 
with my 11 and by 14 canvas board I suggest having three brushes I usually use this brush which is a size 10 um, and it's flat and wide and it gives me lots of coverage um, and I just suggest having a large brush that gives you coverage depending on the size of your canvas of course um, I suggest having like a medium size brush this one's a size 4 of the same set and it's also like nice flat and I have like a fine one to do just specific lines and whatnot um, and this one happens to be a size 4 as well but it actually gives me a really nice fine point and I got this one from Amazon I think but um, yeah so that's the, if you have three brushes or if you have other brushes too that you like that's totally fine but at least those three sizes are good and then also some water as well and then a palette so we can put our paint on and mix and, and do what we need to do and also paper towel is the next thing cool so we have that we're good to go hi Bridget oh I'm glad that you're joining I'm so glad that you're joining us for your first one it is a beautiful picture um and I'm really uh, excited for us to do this. I've been really enjoying the photos so the last I think this is the fourth one that we've done um from photos by Michael Lyons and uh I love it he sent me some more files for the next round of um for the next month basically and I took a peek at some of them and oh my gosh they're gorgeous so I'm so excited <laughs> to share with you some of the ones that we're going to be doing in the next month um really really he has such a beautiful eye it's it's crazy so yeah that's very really exciting um if you are enjoying these sessions these are free so sometimes random links pop up um from some scammers trying to get your credit card i'm guessing or something or telling you to link somewhere else so don't click anywhere else um you don't have to pay anything to access these parties they're free this is the 76th party 76th holy goodness uh party that we've done so um, all of the previous parties are available under the videos tab and Lisa's painting parties and also on my YouTube channel under the same name and you can access them, you can view them all and it's like I said all free. If you did want to leave a tip or anything, there's a link for buy me a coffee and that's a legit link and that would give me a tip and it wouldn't um, pay a random scammer some money. So if you want to do that, you're welcome to, you don't have to. If you want to host your own party and you want um, me to host it for you, please send me a message and I can do that for you as well. And we can talk about what that looks like too. Um, yeah, this will be posted, Elaine. So all all of them will be posted. Every time we do it, it always uh, will be posted right there for you. Um, live, you can watch it in the moment and then also um, on the YouTube channel. Um, Cheryl from Oklahoma. So this is what we're painting today called The Moon. It's very dark and it's kind of glary, but quite vibrant and pretty so we're going to be playing with this cool someone had mentioned too maybe putting like some kind of design or something on the moon i think that's a really great idea that'd be really fun so feel free to add in your own ideas if you want to make this instead like a palm tree or you want to change it up feel free to do that too hi asif i'm glad you're joining today it is beautiful right i think it's going to be really fun all right perfect so We'll give it another couple minutes in case there's anyone else who wants to paint like in the moment. Um, as you're going, if you um, end up doing something that you really want to share, please feel free to write it in the comments and let us know what you did and share it with everyone. Um, I like to look at this almost like as like a book group, like we're all kind of like reading the same book <laughs> and sharing our ideas on it. Um, and I'm kind of like moderating it and giving you my viewpoints on it, um, if that worked for you as an analogy. Um, so that's how I view it. So it's a collaborative effort. I will talk to you through how I'm going to approach it. Um, but um, there are so many fantastic, talented people that join. So please uh, jump in if you have like a tip or a point or anything you'd like to say as well. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm going to set up my camera and set this up so that we can see what I am doing. I'm going to be using my canvas today in like landscape mode so with the longer side the top and bottom and the shorter side there so landscape you can do whichever way you want though whatever you prefer okay and now i'm going to move this over get it set up like that so you can kind of see that a little better okay awesome so i'll give it another moment or two and then we will get started Hopefully everyone's having a fantastic week so far. The weather's been quite nice here. We've had haven't had like really really hot days, and so it's been like in, very enjoyable to get outside. I was able to take my son to the splash pad this week, and he had a fantastic 
time. All the kids were screeching. It was great. All right. So to start off, let's see. We're definitely going to need our good old trusty blue. Anytime I paint when I, in acrylic or anytime I paint regardless, but particularly in acrylic, um, I always start with a furthest in the background. So what I want to do first is I want to get the main color of the sky on our canvas. So it's going to be this dark, dark blue. All of this with the tree is all in front. We're going to do that at the end. We're not doing that at all right now. We're just going to focus on getting a nice blue background um, with some white to get some variations. Um, so then later when we paint all of that, it's going to be able to poke through and it'll look really pretty. So we need to get the background on. So let's start off by getting our blue paint on our palette. So you just want to get a glob on there quite a bit since we will be covering most of it with that. Acrylic paint can dry very quickly as well. So sometimes it's better to just like replenish as you go as opposed to putting a ton. And then if it dries, it's not gonna work as nicely for you. I'm gonna also put a little bit of white because I know I'm gonna want to play a little bit with the color. I might also touch with that like tropical blue that I have too, just to play with it a bit, but I'm not sure if I'll end up using it. We'll just play with that. Um, and then I'm going to start with a little bit of black to maybe darken some of my blue. So I'll just show you a reference of like more or less how much of each I put on there. So quite a bit of that ultramarine, white, the tropical, and then the black. Absolutely. Navy blue would be fantastic. Any type of like really rich blue. If you just have like a standard blue, it's fine too. So don't get hung up on that. The other aspect too is you can always change it up. If you wanted to make it a little bit purplish, that would look really cool too. And you know what? Now that I say that, I may want to play with that. I'm going to add a drop of red on the side. <laughs> I might end up doing a little bit of purple. We'll see. Again, you want to feel that you can make it however you want it to be. Now, the things to think about though is that the sky in this corner here is quite dark, right? And then as it comes closer to where the moon is showing its brightness, it does get slightly lighter, right? So we want to have it a little bit darker and then the blue kind of comes in and then it gets even lighter. And then we have like this break, which this is all blurry in the background. There's lots of clouds going on. So we can decide whether we want to make them more prominent or not. Um, and we don't have to make that choice right now. We can think about it and then we, when we get there, we'll get there, okay? So we want to make sure we start covering this canvas in the blue. So what I'm going to start with before I put the paint on. I'm gonna get some water on my brush and I'm just gonna wet down the canvas a bit. This will allow my paint to go on and to blend well. And also the paint can dry quickly when you're using like thin coats, which I do recommend using thin coats of paint as you go. However, when you use thin coats, it will dry faster. So it's a bit of a balance in that. Um, the water will help because it's uh, water-based. Acrylic paint is all water-based. Um, so that will allow it to blend nicely. Since I'm using a canvas board, it doesn't really um, soak in as much. So I'm still gonna dab it a bit with my paper towel. If you have an actual canvas, you will probably won't need to dab it because the canvas will soak it in and it will keep the actual um, board or canvas for your sake will be a bit more damp for longer. But for my board, it doesn't soak it in. Okay, once I have that water, thin water base on, let's start putting some blue. So I'm just getting the main blue. So whether you're using a navy blue whether you're using like an ultramarine or a dark blue, doesn't matter. Let's just start playing with it. And I'm just playing with my brush back and forth. I do want my brush strokes to be noticed in this painting. I want it to feel very painterly. That's the vibe I would like to get from it. You may like that and you might not, and, and it's okay. It's whatever you would like. If you want it to be smoother, you're gonna just be more like back and forth and it becomes more smooth. Otherwise you do like little like 
crisscrossies, like X's. Continue putting in more of this blue. It's going to be all over. I'm not going to worry too much or bring it right into the corner because I do want to have um, that kind of frame of um, those tree branches happening. But I want to make sure anywhere that it might peek through, it's, you're going to see the sky and not just the white canvas because that's not what we want. So if it's better for you, if you would rather just be on like the safe side, you can just cover the whole thing with the blue. That's totally fine. I'm going to leave it a bit off. So I'm going to leave that because I know I'm going to have Covered up. I think on this corner too is pretty dark too. Okay, we'll just do that for now. Okay, I want to start making it lighter in this area. So I'm going to get white on the same brush I just used because I had blue on it, and I'm just going to go in the area that doesn't have any paint with the white, and then I'm just going to start crisscrossing because my blue, my brush already has some blue in it, and then I'm going to slightly like bring it into. The wet blue so again i'm going to get the white on there go in the area that has nothing and just start crisscrossing and just bring it into slightly into the blue so it starts to blend in like a messy crisscrossy way so white and then brush And you do need to work a little bit quickly because again, if you're using a thin coat of paint, that blue will dry pretty fast. I'm actually gonna put some more blue because it still dries pretty darn quickly. I want it to still blend with my white a bit more. Just gonna get more blue down here. to make sure that the sides of the canvas also have color on it. Especially if you're using like an actual full on canvas, you want to do the sides of the canvas too. I'm going to try and see if I put a little bit of red, what happens. So I kind of want to make this corner a little darker and I'm going to make it a little purplish. Let's put some more red in there. And because my paint's still wet, it's just making it a little darker. I'm just giving a different vibe there. Okay. okay, and that's just the regular blue. Just want it to darken it up a bit. I'm just going over some of what I just already did. I'm just going back and forth like X's. It looks just like a big mess. Big mess of blue. Looks kind of like you went with finger paint and went blah, 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 like that. <laughs> and that's fine. And that's kind of what we want right now. I'm going to put some more white and lighten this area up again. Okay, I want some clouds kind of happening too. I'm just going to make sure all of this is covered in paint before I change brushes or change techniques. So I just want to keep this happening with this blue and this white. That one a little much. And that's it. Like if you end up going a little darker than what you want, the great thing about acrylic is you can let it dry and you can go right on top again. So you don't need to worry about that. Okay. And then I just need to get right 
it's more blue. So yeah, I'm just going on top of some of the other areas that we painted before to make them a little bit more opaque. But I still want that painterly vibe happening. It's still pretty light up here, actually. See, so actually, a lighter blue. I just need to make it put some more white in there. Show that a little bit closer if you can see there's a bit of a glare still in there too so that's kind of just what i have happening so that moon's gonna live it's a little bit lighter it's darker it has a little bit of purpley at the bottom here and i left the corners unpainted because we'll end up putting in all that in the front and i still want to play a little bit with the clouds but i'm going to move from using my big brush with that i'm just going to close my door Oh, my son, who's nine, has decided to, he decided to write a rap song about Pokemon today, and so he's been performing it a lot. It's quite good, actually. <laughs> I think it's original content, so I don't think I would get in trouble if uh, we did have that music and happening, but... <laughs> Not like when I try to play like other songs. Okay, so now that I have kind of where I want the color to live with my bigger brush, there's still some, I might want to make this a little thicker actually before I move on there. Sorry, I second guess myself. I want to just make this a little bit darker. It's a little bit too see-through and I don't want it. a little bit thicker. I'm throwing a little bit of that purpley color on this side too, I think. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now, now we'll move on until I see another spot that I want to go back with that brush on, <laughs> which is completely possible. Okay, so if you are liking the vibe and you like where the color is, you can leave it as is, or we can touch it up a little bit to get more of that cloud feeling. Um, I already have kind of a vibe going just with like, again, this whole painterly effect, so it has that feeling because we're just kind of kept it loose to get the darker areas and the lighter areas so it's shining nicely. But if you want, we're going, I think I kind of want to, I'm going to play with it a bit. And again, if we end up not liking it, you can just paint over it. So it's all great. So I'm going to get a little more blue because I've used most of it. Okay. And I'm going to just kind of play a little bit because see how the edges are a bit like round, more playful. So let's say like, over here. So I'm going to kind of bring up the blue a little bit. So I'm just dabbing. So I'm using the same color. It's all wet though. So other, oh, I need you. You stay on please. Okay. So I'm just going with my medium brush just to create like a little shape so that it's not just, um, strokes, but then now it has a little bit of shape. So it kind of feels like cloud more cloud like so I'm just basically getting that color and then just dabbing and just moving my medium size brush it's again it's still wet so it keeps picking up the color behind it so if I want to keep that darker color I have to keep going back and getting more in and I'm just bringing it down into where the darker color and kind of like blends into it Another one, maybe like 
Okay, I'll show you a little bit closer. So it doesn't look like anything special right now, just like little dabby dabs. Right, and it's, the paint's still a little wet behind it, and I'm just dabby dabbing with my medium sized brush just to get these kind of feelings of like the clouds kind of. There's a little bit more on this side here. So it's not so like. I just create a bit more texture here. Okay. There's some more coming down. Not really coming down, but you see some in the background, so I'm just gonna bring a little bit this way. to the other color so it kind of just runs in a bit and I think this one needs to be a little bit lighter. I'm just gonna put some more white in it. on the side. I'm just looking at the reference image and I'm just trying to get some of the feeling of that blue. So I'm just dabbing a little bit of that blue in different spots. Right now the paint here is not wet so it's not blending as nicely as some of those ones are. But it's still giving a good vibe happening here. Hi Joe! Glad to be doing this one. Hi, Jody. Oh, I'm glad you're back from vacation. How was your vacation? I'm sure you had a great time visiting your family. It's so nice that people are going on vacation now. <laughs> Hasn't happened in a while, eh? It's nice to see people that we haven't seen in a long time. Okay, I'm going to mix a little bit of gray because I there's some... It's kind of like a gray-blue almost, so I'm going to mix a bit of gray and see how it goes. I'm a little he hesitant to put this in, but I think it will add to it. I'm just scared it's going to ruin it, but I'll do it, and then if it's bad, then you guys don't have to. So I'm going to kind of go in this area. I think I need to dull that with blue for sure because it's a bit too crazy. I'm going to some white first, and then we'll go. I'm not sure about this. Second guessing. But I do want to get gray on here, so let's get gray and then I'll throw some other colors on here. Looks like a weird <laughs> tornado thing happening. I don't know what's happening. Okay. It's okay. When it feels weird, just keep going. Sometimes in the moment it's weird, but then it all works out. And sometimes it isn't, and if it doesn't, then so what? We learn from it. Right. And then we go from there, try something else, try something new. It's like a dry paint here. That's the other issue when you deal with cheap paints. That's not true, it might actually happen with good paints too. <laughs> if it dries, it dries, right?
All right. So that's kind of what I have so far. I'm not sure if I'm digging it full yet. We might change it up. Let's see how it goes. Maybe a little bit of white in here. Just a little bit. Happening in this area, this orangey. Let's get some yellow going on too. I'm just gonna put some of this in and see what happens. Put some yellow in here. Oh no! Enjoyed was saying the fires and the smoke from the Canada fires were bad. Yeah, there's a lot of fires happening. Last little bit. Oh, someone's like mowing their lawn right now. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but sounds loud on my side. Yeah, there's been a lot of um, forest fires. We've been experiencing a lot more smoke here too. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry that that put a damper on things. But I'm glad you had a good time otherwise. That's good. Bit of a different color happening. I'm just going to translate the same way on the painting, but I do want to capture that there's like a little bit of brightness happening. It's really pretty. So I just put in some red first and I'm just dabbing with some yellow to give it more of an orange vibe. Let's see how it translates. If it works out, works out. Doesn't, we'll change it up. You want to put a bit of yellow kind of happening. Like a bit of a glow-ish. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Okay, let's touch it a bit with yellow. There you go. <laughs> I don't want it to turn green, but I did want it to be a little bit yellow in that area. Even though it's kind of like almost like an orangey, like gray kind of, but. I've already run out of blue again. <laughs> Using so much blue in this painting. Digging that so far. Hi, Bethany. The fires are bad. The smoke creates beautiful sunsets of reddish hues. So Jody was just saying, there is beauty in it. It's true. 
really sad and devastating, but yeah, sunsets can be gorgeous. That's odd. It's scary though how much is happening more and more now. Okay, let's see what else we want to do with this. Honestly, I'm feeling kind of like good with it. I don't know if I want to do much more. Sometimes I feel like the more I touch it, the more I shouldn't have touched it, you know. But I am going to add another little cloud with the media. Let's see if I do that or not. Oh, no. It's not coming up very well. Maybe a little darker. I dab a bit. light. To lighten that a bit. Maybe I went too far. <laughs> Go back and forth with dark, darkening it and lightening it. So I just put a little bit of blue, a little bit more white just to get a little cloud guy over there. Hi, Kathy. I'm so glad you stopped in. Oh, nice. North Carolina. Oh. oh, it's been raining a lot for you, eh? Yeah, definitely painting when it's raining would be really nice. It's too bad you don't have it with you. Oh, darn it. But have a good time otherwise, though. No, it's been so nice in the last little bit to be able to see, be able to catch up with some more people and things are feeling a lot more, a little bit more normal, you know? So that makes me happy. Touch up some more here and there. Mm, I was going to touch more there, but I don't know if I should. A little bit more this way, I guess. I'm just playing back and forth with the original blue. I had a little bit of gray and I just dabbed a bit on top, but then I went a little bit too gray, so then I went back to my original blue and put a little bit more on top. So it's kind of played with that a little bit back and forth. But I think I'm feeling pretty good with it so far. So yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with it right now. I think I might leave it and then I'm going to place my moon and do other things and then maybe I'll touch up the, the clouds and whatnot afterwards. I still want it to be pretty like abstract and light and not trying to be too similar. Okay, so for our moon, a few key things. So what I noticed right away with the moon is that you can see a thin white line that circles the moon but behind but like but but just behind there's almost like a, a bit of a, a slightly gray glow so i want to capture that slightly gray glow before we start doing the details of that moon i want to have that a little bit of contrast um, to show where the moon is and then I want to have that line of the white and that might be something we actually put in after we put some details of the moon but I definitely want to have that line really emphasize how bright it is so that's what I've seen that's what I noticed right away from it 
So there's a bit of a, a grayish, slightly grayish glow, like very thin around this side here. It's a little bigger around this side. And then, so I want to put that in place. Now, I'm going to use a medium brush again. And I'm going to start, I think, still playing with these colors. So I want it to blend in nicely with the background. I don't want it to be like glaringly out of place so I'm gonna go back in with like white and blue and I'm just going to play with this until it like blends in with the background because I want to get the paint wet so when I blend it all kind of flows nicely together Because now everything's already dry, right? So it's not going to blend in the same way. So try to like color match and just blend it a little bit. And again, working fairly quickly because I don't want it to dry before I even get to that part again. And I'm going to add a bit of gray to it once I get that blend happening the way I like it. I think that's good there. Okay. I'm going to start to play with some of the gray. That is way too dark. Lighten that up. Back and forth, that's great. I'm just going into my paint that's wet. I'm adding a little bit more of the blue to blend it. Make sure I get it around wherever I want that moon to sit so it blends nicely. So when I put that ring of white, it's going to pop eventually when we do that. I'm doing a lot of like little taps. I don't know if you can hear it as I'm going, but. It's allowing me to blend it well. I'm going to put a little bit of water. I'm cautious with using water because the water just blends out everything or blends in everything or however you want to look at it, I guess. It like, everything just kind of becomes like a blur versus um, being able to see like the different colors and blending it that way. So I try not to use water to mix or to... blend the paints on the canvas in this moment because I want it to maintain each like stroke on its own. When the water happens it just spreads things very easily but then it all often becomes one color. I don't know if I like that. I think I kind of messed that guy up. Let's get back on top of some.
Okay, so I think that's got gray now there, well, which will give me a nice background. Hi, Valerie. I'm glad you're joining. Yay. No rain there. Even the weeds have died. Oh, my goodness. So you're getting too much rain, Kathy, and Valerice is not getting any rain. I guess it's good the weeds are gone, but <laughs> not so good about anything else. That's not great. Oh, shoot. That's sad. Okay, so I want to now start putting in my moon. Um, and I want this guy to sit um, in my little gray bucket that I've created. You know what though, I do, um, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to use water and see what happens. I should blend this out a little bit more. I want to get rid of some of this blue here. Yeah, it was still a little wet. Okay, I think that's working. Yeah, I want to just make it a little cloudier to blend in here. softer okay cool now I think I'm good to do my moon <laughs> okay so I'm gonna start my moon and this part's looking weird to me <laughs> I'm not sure if I like that <laughs> but yeah we'll just ignore that for now and decide once we start doing more stuff maybe we'll get rid of that and make it more pixelated kind of fun okay now with this moon I'm not sure if I want to use this one if I want to use my thin brush Yeah, so pick whatever brush you feel like you have good control with. I think I will go with my thinner brush. I don't know. Thin brush is kind of weird sometimes. Okay, so I want to... I think I want to go with kind of a, a light gray is the vibe. I want to start with my base of my moon. So let's do that. I'm just going to put a little droplet of black into some of my white. Okay, whatever base you use, I mean, we can always like play with it anyway. So if it's too dark, it's okay. If it's too light, it's okay. We can play with it. Okay, so whenever we start with a circle, you can either use obviously a stencil or something if you'd like. But I'm always going to say, okay, let's start smaller than what we would want. So I want my, I think I want them to be like here. So I'm going to start with this, just a little baby circle, and I'm going to build it out. And I prefer to go this route because I feel like then I have more control over its size. If you start with the exterior of the moon, then if it's not round in the way you like it, it's harder to scale back. Not impossible, just I find this way it just gives you more control in the situation. I have that going on and it's being kind of a funky shape so far. So let's keep going. water to thin out some of my paint just to make it a little bit easier to spread on here. I 
And I think this is kind of the size I want it to be. I don't know if I want it to be any bigger than that. Mm -mm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm good with that guy. Okay, so with this moon, so I want it to be a little darker and I want to play with some of the little splotches that we have going on. So I'm just put little splotches, a little bit of black, a little bit too much black. It's okay, we'll just mix some more white in it. I'm just gonna put like little bits of to make it have that texture, that crater texture. Right? Or as someone had mentioned, you could Put something intentionally in the moon like you could maybe put like a heart maybe I'll do that maybe for funsies why not right need some more love in places little sideways heart. Okay, and I don't want it to be just like certain splotches. I do want them to be some, but I want it to have a little bit of different colors too and to be blended slightly. Get some white happening in some of these areas. Play with this any which way. Okay, so I have a kind of some texture happening. My little half sideways heart. Okay, and we can kind of continue. I think we want to put a little bit darker in some spots. Okay, 
That's a little too much. Too much black. Some forth on how splotchy I want the moon to be. And you can too, you can decide how much blend. Okay. I think we're gonna try that out, see how that goes. Oh, good call. Kathy was saying you can pass for an underwater view, like a sea turtle, like swimming up, like it's like you're under the water. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I could see that too. I see, I see what you're saying. Okay, so I want to put in that white glow. Around my moon. So I'm just going to put a white line try to do it thin try to keep it as opaque as possible right around it okay and i want to i'm gonna put some water just to kind of mess up that perfectly straight line kind of make it just feel a bit more glowy instead of like instead of it being like a hard stop and then what I'm going to do is just keep dragging it out more of a glowy effect to it. Okay, so that's what I have so far. Coolios. Now I want to start working on all of the foliage that's really going to make a lot of this pop. So I want to start, I think, by using, I kind of want to use my big brush to get more coverage because I know I want most of it covered in black and I want all the white space to be covered in black at least. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to get my black paint and my big brush. And I'm just going to use black paint, kind of willy-nilly a little bit, to cover and to give myself that frame that those trees are going to provide. I'm not going to worry about all the details, and we're going to end up putting in those details afterwards. Right now, this is going to be strange because it's you're just going to touch the black and cover the canvas that you have peeking around if you did it the way I did it. If not, you're going to put black kind of around the edge, similarly to the inspiration image. Not that you can see it because it went black. This green one black too. And I'm gonna play with my brush too, like not gonna worry about it being like a perfectly straight line. I'm actually gonna try not to make it a perfectly straight line. I'm gonna have it because it's very like foliage too. So I think even though I'm gonna still go in and do more, you might be able to already get some of that vibe from this just filling it in a little bit willy nilly. I think I've used that phrase like three times so far in this strange phrase.
Okay, so I just have a little bit of this happening, but we see there's a lot more actually going on. And I ran out of black, so I'm just gonna bring that black, more black on here, and I'm gonna bring this down a bit more, actually. I definitely want this to come down more. All of this black. And look, this is going to come up more too, actually. I don't know if I should fill that all in now or what. Okay, I'm going to put some of it in. I know I want it to come out, but I don't want it to take away from the detailing that I'm going to do after. So I'm going to be cautious about going too far. So now I want to put in, I think I'm going to go with my medium brush before I go in with my fine brush. I think most of the branches are thicker. So let's play with it. Let's start putting in some elements. So there's like a nice big branch that's like coming down. slightly and I don't want to go too crazy because I might want to use my thinner brush to do that after okay and then maybe one other branch and one I can see just behind it There's some more of the bigger ones there, and then more significant there. And then I have one that comes this way. to use the thinner brush to get more detail on that afterwards. Okay. I don't want to be thicker or a bit. Oh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. It's okay. I can just make that come out down. It's fine. Some other branches coming off of there. Yes. And then we have some other ones coming. Okay, so hmm, I'm going to go down here first, I think. And I want to just play a little bit with some of these. I like sticking up. after okay. 
and then here too. So then we have I'm just dabbing and just trying to get some of the silhouettes happening. And they're all kind of just like the feeling of that. Um, no, it's just, uh, this is just the sky, actually. There's no lake at all in the background. But I guess you could make it into that. Oh my gosh, like the light, too, you can't even really see anything on here. It looks on the screen it looks just like a bright that's weird sorry about that that sucks you can't really see the image that well okay and then we have what and then we have some more coming out detail but at the same time I don't know I feel like it's getting some good texture happening black and black Yep, yeah, it's just all black, pretty much. Yeah, no, in this inspiration image, it's it's literally just like looking up into the sky. So there's no water at all, Kathy. It's just the, it's like looking through the branches, the dark branches, in, at the moon. Right, I'm gonna use my thinner brush to put in some of the like thin little guys and then I might go back to my medium brush to get more of that texture happening. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of these little branches. Let's see how they all kind of they're weird looking. starry things like that. vines is this, this around just playing with some of them and then we'll add more as we want a very like weirdly Bendy. It's kind of fun. I don't really. Thank you. 
This is what's going to add all of the interesting detail to it, is all of the, this like painstaking little branches. Well, I, I, I like this, but it can be very time consuming and like specific. And some of these just going to come around. And it's going to look a little... Oh, thanks, Kathy. Have fun. Have fun with the ocean. I'm just going to put a couple little, like, so all you see is just, like, little lines that kind of go back and forth in this area. I don't really know what's going on to what, but the more you put in here, the more deep it's going to look. More full. I'm gonna go with my thin brush because then I have more control over it too. I still want to leave space so you can see the sky happening. I'll show you that a little bit closer. So there's like lots of little swirls with like little ends that give it a lot more 
detail and interest. I'll put some down here too. some other things and just making them come a little bit different on the side here. For fun. Why not? Oh, I'm glad you love it, Dee. Yeah, definitely. When you do it, please uh, send me the picture. Oh, I'd love to see it. Yeah, this one's really pretty, and it's... I, I think it's, like... I want to say simple, but it's not. Like, there's a lot of intricacies to it, obviously. But, um... Like, deceptively simple, maybe, is a, is a better way to position it. Like, it, it, and it... But that's what makes it a little tricky, right? Because it's, you kind of have to showcase a lot of this detail so that it really comes together nicely. Some of these edges look a little bit more defined. Okay, and then this guy, this is where we have all these little ones pop out. And they're kind of like curved. And we'll go down. So kind of like this curve. Yes, they seem to like go up and then and curve. Hmm, there's like another branch where they like up here. And I guess 
is on kind of visit to Oh, thank you, Bethany. Bethany said she, thought she had her brushes there. But all you have is a medium floppy brush, a small paint, the walls type brush, and a foam brush. <laughs> well, I think if you... And I'm, I'm impressed. If you'd use those brushes and that's what you use, Bethany, I am very impressed. I can't wait to see it. That sounds like you challenged yourself. <laughs> but I could see how it could work, though. Like The foam brush could come in handy quite a bit. And kudos to you for still going at it. I love that. That's the way it should be, you know? Like, let's have fun with it. If it works out the way you expect it, awesome. If it doesn't, awesome. Like, we're learning as we're going, we're having fun with it. Every time you paint, you get better. You learn something else and you grow. And it's like a nice way to just the escape. Like it's a nice for me to do. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's like a ghost in the house somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That was my iPad just flipped over. That's not a good thing. Uh... Okay, and then we have these little like flowery things happening. I'm going to put some of the ones in black here, similar like the other ones that we did over there. These are more, has like a little bit of a, so I'm going to put them in black and then I'm going to go over them with another color. Um, you can share a picture. I don't know if it lets you share it in this flow here um, because it's live. So it might not let you do it here, Bethany. But once uh, the paint party is done, it should let you share it. Um, I'll also take a picture of mine and I'll put a separate post and you can always share it as a message on that one too. If that's better. If you're already done, then it might be a little bit more before I'm done. I'm almost, almost there. I want to add a little bit more to these little guys and do some like yellowy kind of glow so I want to put a little bit on here I'm not sure how or what it's a little too Thank you. 
little bit of a yellowy white kind of kiss on a few of these. It's working okay, but not exactly the way I want. So I'm just going to go back a little bit with my black and just tone down the, like blend it like a touch more. Yeah, I think that's a little better. That's good. Okay, I think I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh, right, you know what I missed? I wanted to add a few little detail lines down here. I put some of these kind of floating and I just wanted to connect them. I just want to add a little bit more. Down here. It look a little bit messier. this one complete for tonight. I hope everyone has enjoyed this paint session and you are um, having a good time with your painting. Um, if you join me, please take a picture of it and add it to the comments. I'll also take a picture of mine, uh, completed one and put it up as a post so you can take a look. So there is the finished version of the full beautiful the moon picture. And I'm happy with the glow. I love the way the branches look. I think it's turned out really nice. And I hope you've enjoyed the process. Again, the original photo is by Mike Lyons. He's a Canadian photographer based out of Burlington, Ontario. He is fantastic. Check out his website, michaellyons.ca. Um, and um, again, on Saturday, there'll be four, three more options for you to take a look and you can vote on and the one with the most votes by next Tuesday will be the one that we uh, paint together next week on Wednesday. All right, hope you have a fantastic evening and I will see you all again. Bye everyone, take care.